Today's Thursday. Tomorrow's travel day in Paris, Texas this weekend. So I gotta make sure everything's ready to go so that this thing will shoot lights out. So this is my Texas setup, shooting 69 pounds on a Bowtech Fanatic. I'm shooting an X cutter to right around 425 with 160 grains in the nose, blazer vein, the AccuLite knock or whatever gold tip calls it. Bee Stinger competitor bars, 15 incher with like 21 or 22 ounces off the back, four ounces on the front of a 32 inch bar. The biggest thing I changed this shoot versus what I've normally shot I got this new Montana Black Gold competition side in. I've liked it quite a bit so far. I also threw on a Zebro's light and went to a blue 15,000th fiber. I've got a four power lens and a 0.5 clarifier from Specialty Archery. I've been really thinking about going to the new Hamski peep. So but that's the setup, shooting 282 feet per second. I'm shooting open B. It's a 45 yard class, half known, half unknown. I'll get into that a little more once I get there, but it's shooting good and I'm feeling pretty good about it. She's all packed up. Lord willing, tomorrow morning about 4 a.m. Lauren and I will be headed down to Texas with our buddies CJ and Travis. We made it safely. We're putting some stuff in the hotel room and then we're gonna head to the shoot site. Recording. Oh dear. I look pale. Yeah, I know, me too, look. It's easily adjusted, it's just wiped out. Everything's just a dog, it's just well. So we got our clothes and stuff in the hotel and we are headed to the shoot site now. Today, we're probably just gonna get registered. We might not even get the bows out because the weather's so crappy, but we might, we'll see what happens. So much for getting some cool shots after registration and everything, it started raining again, so. New priority is to get food. Food. Lauren did get a new chair though. Yeah, that's so important. we did accomplish something. Kinda chilly this morning. That was a slow, cold, and windy two miles. It's probably right after you had a five hour in. <laughs> Best part about the Texas shoot right there. Bless you. ASA Archery Live Pack number 371. So we had the continental breakfast this morning and you're just rolling out, you know, a couple of coffees for the road, not lunch box. Yeah, buddy, I keep these in the chair, insulated, protected, ready to go for lunch. Cherry, cherry for sure. 
You ready? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> so it's day one, <laughs> and Lauren and I shoot at 11.30, and it's 9.30 now, we're headed over to the practice animals, get a couple shots in, make sure everything's going smooth, and then we'll head to the range. Dead on. 702, 28 minutes to get to range. Shot a couple at the bags, bow shooting dead on. I'm currently sitting in first with a three point lead over second. Yesterday was the unknown side, which meant we had to judge yardage. Today's the known side. <laughs> Ooh. Lay up, shoot a tan. Just got done shooting day two, shot 12 up. I don't know if it's enough. We haven't heard anything from anybody else on the range. So now we just gotta wait and see. Fingers crossed. All right, so I'm finishing up the edit on this video and I just needed to come in and say something here real quick. That last target was a 45 yard chamois and it was the last target of the day. I knew I was sitting at 10 up which in my head, I didn't think was gonna be even close. I thought for sure someone would come in and shoot like a 20, 24 up on that course. I had been 
in and out of a whole bunch of them. And when I say that, I mean like it was either a 12 or an eight and I was kind of going back and forth. And that last target was max distance. So in my head, I knew I'd be happier shooting a 10, finishing strong instead of aiming at the 12, shooting under it and hitting an eight. So you even heard me on that last shot. I said, I'm like, lay up, just shoot a 10, don't be dumb. And I drew back and I was rock solid steady right on the center IBO. And so I just brought her down to the 12, executed my shot, and hit it. So fortunately, that was actually the shot that won me the tournament. Now, the coverage from here on is kind of strange in that we were so rushed. I ran out, got my bow ready, because in my head, I'm still like, there's no way, you know, that I even podiumed. But I did. I won. So I had to go get my bow, ran over to, like, the gold tip booth everywhere, bow tech, Got the contingency checks and uh, that's pretty much where it left off. Walked in and got on the podium. And that was that was awesome. That was my first podium at an ASA event, and I won the Texas event, which is the one to win because you win the buckle, and uh, it was super exciting. We got a couple more of these types of tournaments that we're going to be going to. This one was kind of like that that first initial style of like vlogging at a tournament. It's really kind of weird. You want to respect the people in your group and not like interrupt their type, their shooting or anything like that. Um, but at the same time, I want to give you guys a good amount of coverage. And uh, hopefully this will convince a couple people to go and shoot an ASA event. It's a lot of fun. There's classes for everybody. And uh, I hope to see you at the next one. Hello, do you guys take checks? Who do I make it out to? OTA. Okay. Go ahead and do this. No, not that. <laughs>